This time on Road and Race, we look into increasing horsepower. As you all probably know by now, I own a Porsche Boxster S. I want to look into options for increasing the horsepower of the engine. Um, so this video covers all my research on what I've done so far to look into this. Um, although specific to the Boxster, um, these principles can be used to other cars as well. My main investigation focuses on this chart. The later model 987 Boxster has the same 3.2 litre M96 engine but produces 28 bhp more. So what did they change to get more power out of the same engine? I have five mods to discuss and I'll list them in order of best value. Just to let you know, I've not done these mods myself yet. Um, so this show is just um, a discussion on what could be possible uh, based on my research. So up first, number one, airbox and intake. Cost, 100 pounds. BHP gain up to eight. Cost per BHP, 12 pound 50. Without going into massive detail, a combustion engine produces power by mixing fuel with air and igniting it. Any restriction on the amount of air the engine can get will reduce power. From my research, the airbox on the 986 Boxster is quite restrictive. It was redesigned and used on the last 986 Boxster iteration, the 550 Spider 50th Anniversary Edition. I've not been able to find out if this is the only performance rated change in this edition, but it does have 266 bhp, which is 14 more than mine with the same 3.2 litre engine. This same airbox was used for the later 987 Boxster and Cayman models. You can pick one up second hand for about £70. The disadvantage of using this mod is that it's slightly larger and will need cutting to fit. Um, and then you'll also need to buy a few ancillary parts, some new tubing and stuff to make it all kind of fit together. Number two, underdrive pulley. Cost, £130. BHP gain up to five. Cost per BHP, £26. What is an underdrive pulley? Well, here's a picture of the Boxster engine and I've coloured the crankshaft pulley in blue. It's a circular disc which is directly attached to the engine's crankshaft and rotates when the engine turns. This rotation drives a belt, shown in red, and powers the auxiliary items such as the aircon, alternator, power steering pump and coolant pump. So an underdrive pulley is a smaller version of this pulley and because it's smaller it will spin slower and um, thus cause all the auxiliary systems that are driven by it to spin slower as well and this frees up power from the crankshaft and releases it back to the engine. Um, the question being if the auxiliary systems are running slower will they still work the same? Well yes that's the question. Um, from what I've read it seems to state that everything should be fine but you know I won't know till I try this myself. This is quite an easy mod um, all we have to do is take off the engine belt and pull out the pulley. Um, there's a small bit of cutting that's required with a Dremel or some such, um, but it shouldn't be too difficult. Number three, larger throttle body and plenum. Cost, £160. BHP gain, up to six. Cost per BHP, £27. Here's a simplified diagram of the boxed air, air intake system. Fresh air comes in through the air intake, travels through the air box and filter, then hits the throttle body. This device opens and closes when you push the accelerator pedal. After that, the air hits the plenum, which distributes the air to the engine intakes. On the left of the picture is a stock 986 Boxster air intake, throttle body and plenum. Air comes in through the intake and hits a 76 mm tube where the mass air flow sensor is housed. From there, it narrows to a 68 mm throttle body. On the right is the larger 987 air intake, matched with a larger 74 mm throttle body and plenum from a Porsche 996 Carrera. The airflow is now no longer restricted down to a 68 mm opening, and this should give more power. Number four, new exhaust. Cost 350 pounds to 2,000 pounds. BHP gains six to 22. Cost per BHP, 33 pounds to 90 pounds. If you've freed up any restriction to the airflow coming into the engine, it's time to think about freeing up the airflow coming out of the engine. The exhaust gas from the engine flows through the manifolds, here in blue, to the catalytic converter, red, where the harmful gases are reduced. From here, the remaining gases travel out through the muffler, yellow, where noise is reduced. So lots of choices here, really, for a new exhaust system. They range from up to £2,000 for a full uh, sports exhaust of new cats and 
uh, can produce up to about 22 bhp i've read um, and then at the low end you're just looking at you know 350 quid for a no brand exhaust you'll get on an auction site and it'll give you about 9 bhp um, from what i've read that the cheaper exhausts may not sound very good and can drone on long motorway journeys so it's really a balance here on how much money you want to spend and what you want to get out of your exhaust number five an ecu remap cost 550 pounds bhp gain six cost per bhp 92 pounds the final option on this list is to reprogram the car's onboard computer this allows you to take maximum advantage of all the mods you've made by changing engine parameters such as ignition timing and fueling Finally, here's a table summarising all we've discussed so far. If you exclude the last two items on this list because they are the most expensive, you could potentially have a 19 bhp gain for £390. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and hit the like button as it helps us make more shows. Also, please hit the share button to let other people know about the show. If you have any questions or suggestions for future shows, please leave a comment. For notification and news about the show, you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. All the tools and parts we use are listed on our website. Click the suggested box at the top of the screen now to watch the next video in this series. Thanks for watching.